right now I'm waiting on my amplifiers for the Caddy. I'm still waiting on them. Um, they're being custom built for me, so I mean, I really don't have anything to say except, okay, I'll wait. In the meantime, I got a new driver in the family, and the car he's driving has no beat at all. No music, nothing, not even a deck. So I think what's in order is a nice little budget build, something he can listen to when he's just driving around town, something that's removable because this car is probably not the best car to put something into, and something that sounds good. I say we go shopping. As you can see, we got this big hole in the dash. So I've had this 90 Accord for probably about eight or nine years, something like that. It's been sitting around. We use it for a learner car. We use it for a get around. We use it just for whatever, for an extra car around the house. And uh, now that we got a new driver, we need to have a little bit of music in here. The 1990 Accord. She's a good car. She just runs and runs, but we got to have our tunes. I'm telling I you. I say we smash out and go get a deck. What do you think? Yeah. All right. All right. Let's go. This thing does have some mighty fine holes that the previous owner must have cut in with his teeth years ago. I don't know if they used a butter knife or their teeth or what they used, but man, you people really need to stop doing that. You don't know how often I see this right here. All right, so there's no sound in here at all, but something back here is rattling, something's squeaking. I think it's like the old binines in the rear deck, the old factory ones or something like that. We're gonna make this much better. We're gonna put some second skin back there. It's gonna be nice when we're done. Sound of silence. Gotta love it. We got nothing. We got nothing. Alright, I say we smash over to Arden Audio. Alright, you know whenever I need something, I come over to Arden Audio, especially on short notice. They got everything we need here. So let's head on in and just grab a deck, maybe some door speakers. Oh yeah. It's like Wonderland in here. We got Sound Digital. We got B2 Audio. We got SMD. We got just everything up in here. D has got it all. All right, we're trying to keep it budget friendly and still get good stuff at the same time. So we got this Pioneer 6100 and some B2 Audio separates for the front. Of course, I got those B2 Audio 8s already ready to go. We'll deal with that later, but for right now, we need the main stuff. All right, Dia, thank you, man. I appreciate it, man. We're out of here. We're gonna go hook this stuff up. Yeah. Good, good. It should sound real good up in there. Look up a little amp, a couple amps, a little bit of wire. All right, the next day. Look what we have here. All right, man, I say crack it open. Let's see what's in there. By the way, it's noisy in here right now. We got the laser and the CNC going at the same time.
Of course, this is just the beginning of any great system. There's a lot more to it. We got to get some amps. We got to get some subs. We got to get a little bit of wiring. We got to get our RCAs. We got to make sure that our battery is good enough to handle all this. But this is a nice little start. So I say we get started. All right, it's very loud in here. The work never stops. So I guess I'll just talk over the top of it. So the plan is to put a base amp, a mids and highs amp, a couple of woofers, and everything else that goes along with it. But for right now, this car has no sound at all inside of it. So we're gonna use the factory wiring and send some sounds right over to the doors. As soon as the amp rack is built and we have everything the way we want it, we're gonna send brand new wiring from the back all the way to the front. But for right now, we're gonna take advantage of what's already there. We're gonna bring this adapter harness over there. We're gonna identify the proper wires, make sure that the right and left are actually there and they're working. And once we do that, we'll come over, we'll hook this straight up to the deck. As soon as we know all that's working, we won't have total silence anymore. Everything will be working good then we can start worrying about making everything else better. But for right now, we're gonna tap right on into the factory stuff. Obviously, we're not gonna be able to do this all in one day, because we work over here at the shop. We have a lot of stuff going on. But we really need to get rid of the silence. So what we're planning on doing is taking the factory wiring, hooking it up to this harness adapter, and getting some sounds out of the speakers that's already in there. We're gonna go ahead and upgrade the speakers, obviously, to the V2 audios. But for right now, I just want to send some wiring over to those doors and have something to listen to just for a minute. The amp rack, the woofers, the RCAs, brand new wiring from the front to the back is all coming afterwards. Let's grab the SMD IMSG. Let's identify some of the wires that's on here, make sure they're going to the right place. And then uh, let's just see if we can get some sound out of the car. Then from there, we're just going to make it better. the left and the right side on these. Let's see if we get any sound out of these. sound. We got the left and right side identified just like that. And we know what frequency they like at the same time so they can properly be tuned. But we're not gonna use these anyways. We're gonna use the B2 audios. Let's just see if we can get some sound for right now. I say we put the deck in. We're gonna have to hook this up though. Let's go. Of course, like I said, we're gonna end up running RCAs off of this deck to an amp rack in the back. But for right now, just so we can break the silence, we're gonna hook up the factory harness with the high level outputs, just so we can have something to listen to on the way home. Then we're gonna start all the cool stuff right after this. Go 
ahead and uh, bring this shit back this one, this one. And this one. Just shift these three back. Hopefully that's enough remote wire to make it from the front to the back. If not, we can always extend it again, but it looks kind of long for a little Honda. Forget the blue one. It came out pretty good, bud. Right on. So we'll just uh, take this, give it a nice little twist so it all kind of comes together. We got this right here. We'll top it off with this. I can't tell you how many times this goodie bag from CE Auto Electric Supply has came in handy. I got the Tessa tape inside of here ready to go. Where's it at? My favorite stuff. Of course, we're gonna need some RCAs. Got two brand new sets in here. V2 Audio. Uh, they're mismatched, but they both should be long enough. And they're brand new, so why not use them? Go just like that. That's in there pretty tight. Sure, put it right side up.
I'm not gonna push it all the way in until I hear sound, so let's see if we got sound. We got lights. Oh yeah. Look at that. Cool. What time is it? Alright, we got tunes. That'll work. Alright, there's speakers in there. They sound, uh, they don't sound that great. But we got these B2 audios. They should drop right into place. Chase great, chase money, not hoes. Put this up here. That's why we don't flow. That's why we don't flow. That's all that I know. This will be good enough for right now. Tomorrow I'm gonna jump in and we're gonna wire up the crossovers, the mids and highs, and we'll see what a difference it makes jumping from those to these. It'll be a fun little video. Thanks for watching, thanks for checking in, and watch us get this thing done. It's gonna be fun. Oh yeah, can't wait. here for the day. <laughs> yeah. Just slap me and I be going, I be trying to double play the same night. Like my face hella low, it be messing with the sight. And my mirror's dry slapping, but be quaking at the lights. Everybody needs their first day. I get it. Oh yeah, is that good, butter or what? <laughs> I like it, I like it. We'll get the Miz and Haas on board tomorrow morning. Almost home? Yeah. You keep telling lies, hey, I stick to my zone.